What's up, y'all? My name is Prince, and I am an urban acolyte. And I want to talk to y'all about Tony Jaw's latest film called Triple Threat. Now, this movie is basically being tutored as the Asian Expendables because the heroes are going to be mostly Asian martial arts stars, from what I understand. Now, the basic plot of the movie is that these two down on their luck fighters will team up with a third person who has been on revenge where their talents will be enlisted to help protect a billionaire's daughter from some kind of cartel. So I'm guessing you're gonna have some rich guy with some shady business deals and well he basically pisses off the mob and now he's afraid for his daughter's safety so he's gonna hire this gang referred to as the triple threat. Now I mentioned this was Tony Jaa's latest film project so it sounds like Tony Jaa will be teaming up with Iko Uwe who was once considered the Tony Jaa of Indonesia when he had made his debut in the breakout film Marintau back in 2009. Iko went on to become a martial arts star in The Raid Redemption and The Raid Berendahl. If you've not seen those films, you have to check them out. I'll also mention that Iko was a member of the Kanji Club gang in Star Wars The Force Awakens. So he's officially known in Star Wars canon as Tasu Leech's right hand man, Razu Ken Fee. Now the third member of this crew is a guy you may not be familiar with who goes by the name of Tiger Chin. Tiger Chin was actually one of the stuntmen in the Matrix trilogy. He reunited with Keanu Reeves in the movie that Keanu directed called Man of Tai Chi. This guy is an amazing Chinese martial artist and I'm sure he's going to bring something interesting to the table for audiences who don't already know how skilled he is. Now the cast gets even better in that there will be two kick-ass women involved in this film in Jija Yanin and Selena Jade. Now Jija Yanin burst onto the scene in her debut film Chocolate where she earned the nickname the female Jackie Chan. She did all of her stunts and all of the fighting in that movie. Jija has a background in Taekwondo but she's since picked up Moi Baran, the older form of Muay Thai boxing that you see Tony Jaa use in most of his films. The other film fatal in this movie, Selena Jade is someone that I wasn't familiar with by name, but when I looked her up it turns out that she played Shadow in the first few seasons of Arrow over on the CW. Now this comparison to the Expendables movie just keeps getting better because, well you've got these Asian action stars on one side of the aisle, but on the other side of the aisle, well, check this out. So it sounds like the people working for the cartel are going to be Michael J. White, Scott Adkins, and UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping. Now you have to know about Michael J. White and Scott Adkins. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of you are just straight up Star Wars fans and you don't watch too many action or martial arts movies. But Michael J. White has been in the industry for years. He's one of my personal idols. My little brother met him down in Atlanta last year and well, I'm a little bit jealous of that. But uh, Mike is an amazing martial artist and an amazing actor. And if you're not used to seeing him playing in a villain role, well, he actually played in Skin Trade, where he's like a crooked FBI or CIA agent, and Tony Jaa and Dolph Lundgren team up to take him down. Another great movie where uh, he plays a villain is The Vigilante Diaries, and my boo, Mary Christina Brown, plays his assistant in that movie. Christian Sesma, who's the director of The Vigilante Diary, says that there will be a sequel. So I'm planning to cover that sequel hardcore once I get more details on it, because I know a few people in the movie. Now Scott Adkins, like I said, this dude is freaking amazing. He was Ryan Reynolds' stunt double on that one Wolverine movie where uh, Deadpool got his mouth sewn shut. And as a matter of fact, the entire end fight sequence between Deadpool and Wolverine that was all Scott Atkins. I wanted Scott to get the role for Batman in the DC Cinematic Universe, but uh, he was coming off this movie Ninja and Batman is a ninja, but you know, we know how that one turned out. Either way, Scott Atkins and Michael J. White, I don't care if they are bad guys, I'm looking forward to seeing them team up in this movie. As for Michael Bisping, well, it might surprise you guys, but I'm actually not a big UFC fan. But I thought Michael did a good job in the latest Triple X movie. He was the muscle and he had a few funny scenes. I don't know how big a role he'll have in this film, but you know, it'll be cool to have a real life tough guy who actually is a tough guy in the octagon as a UFC champion involved in the project. And I'm hoping that Michael Bisping can land more roles like this because I'm going to guess that it's nicer to get a paycheck from fighting in movies than uh, being in the kind of fights where your face might get 
wrecked uh, over in the M over in the UFC. So yeah, right now there aren't a lot of details on this movie, and I know they're working on it because Michael J. White, Scott Atkins, and Tony Jaa have been posting about it on Instagram, and that's actually how I first heard about this movie. The filming started last month in April, so I imagine we won't see a trailer for the film until probably the fall at the earliest, but I'm going to keep my eyes open for any news from the studio on this project. So how are you guys feeling about this movie? I mean, if you're a fan of Tony Jaa and Iko Uwe, well, are you excited to see the two of them team up in this project? And now, I love Tiger Chin too, and I'm interested in seeing what role he'll play next to these two other guys who are, you know, big dudes uh, in, the, in the new school of martial arts uh, superstars. Also, think about the fact that we're going to see Scott Adkins and Michael J. White team up in this. Like I said, if you're a fan of these kinds of films, you've got to be excited about this project. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll be checking back to see what you all have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Start the process to becoming a real-life superhero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. I'm still writing on my Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 review, and I've started working on reviews for the first two episodes of American Gods. I hope to have those videos posted by the weekend, and I'll try to finish up Thrawn and the Guardians of the Wills novels um, sometime over the weekend or next week so that I can start posting some more Star Wars videos really soon. While you wait on those videos to post, be sure to check out my last video on Ip Man 4, and you can check out my first video from the Dragon Ball show. But that's all I got for this video, so thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing, and may the force of others be with you, always.